What's going on guys, man? Back at it again with another video and today I'm gonna do an unboxing and review of probably one of the best ring lights that you can find on the market today, which is the Loom Cube Ring Light 18. This thing is a monster. I, I'm gonna say it again. This thing is a monster, I swear to you. It's probably one of the best on the market, as I said earlier. So much flexibility. You can use this for pretty much in most settings, for sure. And one of the things that you guys might can relate to me as watching this video, and this one let you know I do fitness YouTube. So in this case, if you're not familiar with my channel, so I do a lot of outside workouts, gym workouts, and also home tips and traits and all that, all that good stuff that might be beneficial if y'all wanna check that out as well too. But I know a lot of people might be struggling to find a great ring light for them because sometimes people might have to depend on the natural lighting, which is great. I always recommend natural light for most videos, but guess what? Natural light only lasts so long. So if you have an erratic work schedule, say if you work a nine to five or whatever schedule, or if you're just busy in the morning, when it goes more to the evening, you have a certain time, only a small window to record all your content as well. And say if you might be a little late or something might happen, then you end up recording next day and then, you know, kind of mess up your schedule. But I'm gonna do everything, uh, no cut, no cuts, no edits when I start unboxing it so you guys can get a realistic view on how it's gonna feel and take. I try, I might fast forward a little things as well on when you kind of put it together. I'm gonna explain some pros and cons, if there are cons or if there are pros and how you can make it more efficient. So also make sure you hit that like subscribe button if you like what you uh, like my, my review as well. So without further ado, let's get to it. So starting everything off, you will get a travel case like this right here. This thing is pr it's pretty big. I like it because it's great material. In fact, that you can really put a lot of things in here. It'll hold it pretty well. It won't feel like it's gonna break through. I had a lot of bags like that before where I'll put certain things in there, even if it's not even heavy, it's gonna feel like it's gonna break through the in the, in the bottom. So let me start, let's start off with what we're gonna get. You're gonna get the ring light. This thing is humongous. I can tell 18 inches is it's crazy. And then after that, you will get the stand that comes with it. This thing can really, this thing can get, I'm gonna show you how, how tall this thing can stretch out. I, I, and I'm six foot, by the way, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you guys. Also as well too, you get obviously the, the cord, the power cord. In addition to that, you'll get two batteries that you can use. This is portable. And you'll get the charger that's included with this as well. In addition to that, you'll get a gooseneck because you can use this for both a DC, uh, for a DSLR camera or uh, actual camera phone. And you'll get this for the camera. You want to use this for the camera here. They stack it together and you also can get you'll get this as well too so you get a great variety of stuff so it's not just for one item thing so i'm going to set everything up real quick so first off you'll start with the stand so you just simply flip it back over and what you want to do is as well if you want to tighten this up all you got to do is just i'm gonna show y'all right here all you gotta do is just tighten this up a little bit turn this little to the um clockwise it tightens up if you guys want to have it this flat surface in general, like that. All you gotta do is tighten it up. It'll stay just like that, no problem, will move. And then of course you see right here, loosen this up a little bit and you'll span it up. Pretty simple, really easy. Just turn it, if you want to loosen up, just counterclockwise turn it. And then you got it set up. Also as well too, like about it, like I was saying earlier, this thing is super tall, like I'm six foot, like literally, as you see, it's already coming up to my, it's already coming up to my shoulder. And I didn't even fully stress everything out. This thing can really get some height. So if you need great angles and certain like, certain like uh, elevation, you will definitely get this with this, um, with this stand for sure, no lie to you. Only thing I will say as a critique, honestly, and this could be just on my end since if I wanted to go outside, which I'm gonna explain a little bit about the portable stuff, is that I wish this part can come loose right here. And I can put, I can, they have like a smaller stand that I can also attach it and put it like maybe like on a part bench because this thing is kind of huge and I can have it like kind of sit like kind of like one of those smaller ones. I wish they had something like that. That'd be really dope because kind of how it's kind of structured, it's kind of, um, when you attach the ring light, I'm gonna show you how it can be kind of, uh, it's kind of scary in a sense where you might 
want to be protective over your phone. So let me kind of attach this right here real quick. Let me straighten this down so it can fit my height. And like I said, I'm six foot. So show y'all real quick, bring this down a little bit. Really simple right here. Let me bring this down a little more because it's going to be super tall light. Bring this down a little bit more right here so you guys can see the light. And I'm explaining what I mean by what I was saying earlier. So you attach it in. The only thing I kind of be iffy on with stuff that I like to hear kind of just like a little snapback or something like, like I know it's connected. And make, you, I make, make sure it's a priority to make sure that this thing is snapped on all the way because you'll think it's um, tied in, but it's really not. So I make this make sure you go out the way to make sure this is tight. Cause that's why I was saying that I wish the bolt was right here so I can just pull it out and attach something else. So you'll get this right here. As you can see, this is what I mean right here. You see, I have to really spin it like this to get it. I don't know if you can give me a focus. I have to tighten this up. So put, don't put your camera on your phone before you make sure that's tight. And you for, and then right here, this is where how you can adjust it on the side, where all you gotta do is turn it counterclockwise and it goes right here and it stretches out, bam. So this is how you can get more certain angles. And I did a couple little when you have it attached, it will hold the phone, uh, the camera or the phone up no problem. So you don't have to worry about this going to break. Just make sure that one. Just make sure when you start adjusting it. I'm gonna give you an example. I got a, a camera right here, right? Oh, I just put my own uh, thing on here real quick. Uh, hold on. Right here. You gonna tighten this up right here? And this will be the same thing with this will be the same thing with the phone. I mean, with the camera phone. And then what this too is dope, you can loosen this up and you can get like a little more diverse angle. Loosen this up, you can kind of move the ball like this. So you want to put the camera face a little more this way or make sure it's straight, you can do that. So I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna lock, relock this back in. But make sure you relock everything and make sure everything is uh, tight and, and, and fastened, all right? So watch, I'm gonna put this in right here, screw it on. And then also, if you don't feel comfortable putting in, putting this on your camera, I mean, putting this directly on camera, I would, if you got a tripod, you can do the same as put it right behind it. So it won't make a difference, to be honest. And then bam. See, this is what I mean. So when you, this is what I say, take this off the camera before you do this, because that's see how quickly it falls. So make sure that you take this, take this off the camera first before you let it, um, before you take, before you um, start adjusting it, because it's really going to just fall back real fast. Especially this little, it's not even a heavy DR, uh, DSLR camera. So you got everything locked in right here. So let me get everything locked and loaded right together. And it holds. It's pretty sturdy. Also, it may rock a little bit. It's not the most. It's it's kind of flimsy at times. But I can assure you, unless you're really like throwing it, it's not going to fall. It's not going to fall over anything like that. So I can, I can assure you on that. I try. Just make sure you just um, screw everything out. But everything is pretty sturdy. You see, I'm shaking it. I'm going to turn it this way. See, camera's still loose. Look at that. Turn this right here. It's still, still not on there. See, it's perfect. So it holds in there pretty strong. It's pretty sturdy. So if it can hold this and hold the phone, you, you'll just do the same thing, but put the gooseneck on there and attach it, no problem. Or put the um, camera light on there, it'll stay on there, no problem. So I, I like this so far. Pretty sturdy. It'll seem very flimsy at first, but it, it won't. It won't fall. So let's get to the fun part. So after that, and I'm going to show you all how, how far this thing can stand out. Remember, I'm six foot. This is the same height as me, six foot. Watch how far this thing. I'm going to push this back a little bit. Watch this. See my TV. Watch how high this thing can stand out. I'm six foot, by the way. Watch this. Look at that. That's, that's not even that high. Watch this. I'm not even done yet. Watch this. Counterclockwise. Look at that. Almost out the screen. This thing can go almost up. To, this, this damn near touching my ceiling. For, for sure. This is like Shaq right here. I'm talking to Shaq. It's like a foot. This is Yao Ming right here. You can't, it's not even in frame no more. And I'm six foot. Remember, I'm six foot. I'm gonna keep saying I'm six foot. You see this thing out of frame. So literally, you can get a lot of very diverse things. And the camera's still on there too. Like I said, I'm not editing anything. I'm not cutting nothing out. You can see everything how I hold it. And it holds up pretty sturdy. I'm just gonna let it, I'm gonna let it sit. Not touching nothing. Shake it. Not gonna move or nothing. Look at that. Bam. Holds up pretty sturdy. So let me bring this back down. 
So this is really great. This is really great ring light. I, I, I can assure you, you, you will love this ring light and you can put this on and you can put a heavier lens on there too. If you got a big, um, like real big fancy lens that you want to fix, especially with, um, like you got a Canon lens. I got a, I, what I'm shooting with, I'm shooting with an M50. If you got one of them big old fashioned lens, them fixed lenses or any other uh, lens that you got, it'll hold up pretty well. I can show you that. So importantly, so I'm gonna turn off this light. I'm gonna switch camera, I'm gonna um, break real quick. I'm gonna switch the lights and I'm gonna show you how bright, actually I'm gonna plug this in first. Actually I'm gonna plug this in first. Cause it's gonna be super, super bright. Let me show y'all. So I'm gonna take the DC. We gonna plug this bad boy in. It's gonna feel like Jesus hit you. Watch this. Check this out. Oops. Oh, I ain't turning on my back. Look at that. Can't even see. Look how crazy. Look how bright that is. It can't even. It's adjusting right now. Look how bright that thing is. I think it's super bright. I'm sorry for making hurt in your eye. That's all up to max. This thing is huge. So, so I'm back. So I'm about to show y'all how to make this portable. As you can see, no adapter, no nothing to it. It's off completely. Bam, nothing on there. So what you'll do is you, you, you'll get these two batteries that come with it. So you don't have to worry about anything, having to buy anymore. These will hold you down pretty well for most filming, unless you're trying to film for a whole day, which I don't see most people doing that. But if you are, you just get two more of these you'll be fine trust me you'll be you'll be good so it's pretty simple i'm actually no i'm not i'm lying it wasn't simple because i was trying first time i tried to do this i was struggling but once you figure it out and once i explain it to you, you you're going to do this probably like in 10 seconds or 15 seconds so what you do you turn around and as you can see right here, I'm gonna show y'all. Y'all see these little two holes right here? I don't know y'all can see. You're gonna put these right here. You're gonna match them up sideways, just like battery packs. But what you're gonna do is instead, before you could throw it in there, you're gonna clamp it right here. Bam, bam, when you hear that click, you're gonna push it, push it like that. And you're gonna do the same exact thing on this one. Bam, you hear that click, bam. And then what you do is, You'll turn it to the right. You see where that one dot at? That's when it's portable. Bam. And you know what's good when you see that light kind of flicker on. I'm going to show you how to do the battery light. So what you do is you just click. Click on whatever it is, and it'll tell you the battery light. You just click this button down where you adjust the light at, and it's pretty simple. Not going to lie, the only problem, hard thing about it is taking these things out, which is kind of a good thing. So you know it's not going to just fall out while you're filming. But it is kind of a little challenge. You got to put a little muscle to it. But I'm glad you guys liked the video. Um, it's pretty much the full review. I highly recommend getting this ring light. I think anybody that wants to do things that's portable and also do things in the house and have great lighting, because lighting is very essential in getting people attention and it's kind of fully displaying your artwork and um, pretty much your uh, videos to the highest potential so you can get the max amount of views, likes, shares, and all that good stuff. I think this is a light for you for sure. And if you found this video helpful, and you think anybody else can benefit from the, you know, in their buying decision, I, I definitely appreciate you like, share, help the algorithm up. That'd be greatly appreciate, appreciate it. Also, if you're not, if you're first time viewing the channel, I said this earlier, I do Flight of Fitness content as well. So you guys can check that out and hopefully get your fine on for the most part. So without further ado, I'm out this thing, man. Hope you guys decided the best light that worked for you and I'm out, gang. Mm.